What's up guys? Mark Holmes here and as always I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys as well as you ladies you know that this literally does not work. It's been a busy morning already. I had to run to the store pick up a couple things for game time because I got to be ready. Got to have the game time eats and everything else and just need a few more items to make sure we're ready. Uh, the one o'clock games kick off and geez two hours and 28 minutes i'll be ready i'll be kicking off at 12 45 and let me already say thank you for all the happy birthday wishes that people have already given me and for all those that are that are headed to come through um i forgive me if i haven't responded to all of them uh right now because i'm trying to get ready for the game day experience but i appreciate each and every one of you uh i've been i feel so loved today old but loved so we got a couple things going on with the Cowboys versus the Giants. This is crazy because, you know, I always think about Rashid saying that he doesn't want Dak Prescott because he's not a winner. Sorry to throw you under the bus, Rashid, but it, it, it's just something wrong there. There's something wrong there. The crazy thing is how good the Cowboys have been in their division. It's almost insane at how good they've been. How good right now the Cowboys are going for their 10th straight NFC East win with Dak Prescott under the helm. If that happens, that ties Dak Prescott with Roger Staubach for the second longest streak against division opponents in the Cowboys history. That's a lot of games. And I'm not trying to be arrogant because, you know, I, I'm, I'm, this game scares me. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm scared. Um, I'm not being overconfident. I'm not, I don't want anybody to be overconfident. And I don't want the Cowboys to be. I want them to go in there like they're facing the 85 Bears and playing on having a war. This game is kind of be uh, interesting to see how Dak Prescott responds um, after literally a year ago tomorrow is when he ended up messing up his ankle against the same Giants team. Now, a couple of things that will be interesting to watch is, I've said, if you're a defensive coordinator, you have nightmares when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys. And that's the truth. You have to try and figure out how you're going to stop this. Because the Cowboys, are they a running team? Some people say they are. I mean, you do have two running backs that are on pace to go over 1,000 yards each. Or are they a passing team? Because right now, Dak Prescott's averaging two and a half touchdown passes a week with only two interceptions on the season. You got two receivers that are looking to be over a thousand yards. So are they a passing team? If you're a defensive coordinator, that's what you got to figure out. How are you going to stop them? Well, the Giants Achilles heel has been, they've stunk when it comes to blitzing the quarterback. They are giving up 127 rating to quarterbacks when they blitz. Hmm. They get burned a lot when they blitz. Dak Prescott leads the NFL in passing versus the blitz. So if you're the Giants, you don't want to blitz against Dak Prescott. You just don't. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. Now, part of that is because the Cowboys offensive line has been playing so well that they have been keeping him clean. Because here's the thing. When you blitz, what you're hoping to do is you're hoping to overload the offense so there's no time for the quarterback to pass. Because you're actually giving the advantage to the receivers because there's less defensive backs there. Got it? So you're giving up a you know an advantage out here to try and get an advantage over here problem is, if you do not get there, if you do not get enough pressure to get the quarterback off the block, then you've got reduced numbers out there. you got more one-on-one -on -one coverage. You've got mismatches, and here lies the problem. Because the Dallas Cowboys offensive line has been playing so well against the Blitz, you know, when you see Zeke Elliott up in there, and he's jacking people up um, and things. Dak is given the time with now having the advantage in numbers with the wide receivers. The Giants are beat up. 
on offense and defense. They're short two of their offensive weapons. Um, their left tackle is going to play, but he's going to be slowed down because he's got an ankle injury. But this is an NFC East game, and anybody can beat you in the NFC East. Just can't. I mean, or actually in the NFL. It just depends on how you come out there. The ball bounces the wrong way. You get a couple of bad calls. All of a sudden, the other team gets some momentum. And all of a sudden, you're going home with a loss. Now, hopefully, the Cowboys are laser focused on this. Hopefully, they can get to 4-1 and one and uh, demoralize the Giants. For the Giants, I really feel like one, they got the win last week in overtime, which may give them some momentum. Two, they're looking down the barrel of a shotgun with the next six games in their schedule. If they don't get a win here, their season may be over with. And I'm not saying that just to say I'm hating on the, the Giants or anything. I'm being honest. It is a rough road to hoe. Their, their schedule is brutal. And you can see them lose this one and then all of a sudden lose four or five, six games in a row. And I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to hate. Just kind of putting it out there. Now, I haven't heard anything from Kyle Pizzle if he accepted my, my terms or not on this bet. So I'm still waiting. Pizzle, you got two hours and 20 minutes to accept it or reject it. I'll be waiting, buddy. I'll be waiting. And with that being said, I'm going to get back in here, get ready to cook some chicken wings, get my sausage subs ready to rock and roll, and uh, get ready to live stream. Hope you guys join us in. And if you want to give me something for my birthday, subscribe to the channel. That's all I want. And I will see you at kickoff. <laughs> Peace. Few minutes away from game time, y'all. The time is now to shut 35 minutes. Come on, you said it's always the latest time. I know that's right. Check for you. Okay, Jim, look at that big ass. <laughs> so. Oh, shit, this smells good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn. Uh, you gotta pray. You gotta pray on this sub. Pray Come twice. pray on this oh, sub. Oh my! Almighty oh, sub. I do. Almighty oh, sub. Sire. We win this game tonight, Almighty oh, sub. Yeah, Look at that damn sub. Hold on, let me take a picture of this shit. Mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. My meats, Billy 500. My meats, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Our post. I gotta take a picture of this thing. Man. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. to the yeah. That's a big ass. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. People. I present to you our sacrifice for the night. A it's real steak and cheese sub. And we're going to cut to the bone here. We're going to cut to the bone here. Cut that shit. Jalen, give me a piece of Oh, man. Oh. Like an orgasm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at the way, look at the way that nice slice from that bread. Just Ooh. so effortless. Let me go wash oh, my hands, oh. man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Cut that motherfucking stuff. Cut that shit up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Let me get that in piece. Oh, <laughs> look. We're not worthy of the steak and cheese. We're not worthy. Oh my god. Oh, oh. 